The fourth dimension. This piece is an acrylic. I used a wide variety of vibrant colors to clearly define the multiple shapes I used. For my paintbrush style, I used only short spots of brush, never lines or strokes. I used a variety of shapes and objects, as well as disproportionate sizing. If you notice, the spoon is much smaller in proportion to the apples. The main focal point of this piece is shadow and the shading of one color onto the next. I wanted to show dimensionality in this piece, as well as a sort of surreal or abstract way of thinking. This piece is called Four Face. This is my second attempt at oil and represents four nations of the world, the US, China, India, and Zimbabwe. The focal point of this piece is the face in the middle, created out of four faces to define the symmetry and unification of all four nations. I used a less realistic, more simplistic style here. The different backgrounds of the piece are a variety of images from around the world. The figure has its eyes closed and has a soft smile on its lips to represent the figure is at peace with the world and all other nations around it. This the title of this piece is The Skull. This is my first watercolor attempt. I painted an abandoned skull surrounded by flowers and weeds, contrasting the beauty of the rose and the ominous presence of the skull. The vines drape around the skull, sort of imprisoning it. It sends a message to me that everyone becomes a part of nature eventually when they pass on. This next piece of mine is pastel. I call it the apple. This piece is my first oil pastel. I created a very centered piece with bright and neutral colors contrasting each other, all mostly pastel. I wanted to create a more traditional piece instead of creating a more abstract or inventive idea. The apple's shadows pops from the picture as well as the light hitting it. This next piece is called The Raven. The Raven is my first oil painting attempt and is based off of the poem The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. I use sort of neutral colors, browns and greens, with lots of blacks to create a calm, dark, and ominous feeling, like the feeling you would get in an old funeral parlor. The candles give it a nice contrast of the dark of the raven and the light of the candle's fire. The candles represent new life, while the raven represents the eventual death that no one can escape. This next piece is called The Rose. This is my first full drawing attempt. I wanted to create a classic, traditional view of a rose, close up so you can see the obviously defined lines and gradual shading and hatching for the shadows to create a more realistic, less cartoonish look. The rose is accompanied by smaller flowers that frame the outline and create a feeling of natural presence. This next piece is called Father Figure. This piece is my first Conte crayon. The similar red and brown colors create dimensionality while complementing each other's brown tones. I created an illusion of a shaft of light shining down from above to create an interesting range of dark and light areas on the figure. I wanted to create a figure who looked not only deep in thought, but also peaceful. This next piece is called The Sparrow. This piece is a hybrid mix of pencil drawing and colored pencils. The hand, representing the dull and dreary life of the artist, is drawn in pencil. The hand starts out drawing a dot, which slowly transforms into a large sparrow. The colors transform as well, going from gray to light, amounts of brown and reds. I wanted to show transformation from a dull, small, unimpressive idea into a large, colorful, impressive one. The hands, lights, and shadows add dimensional to the piece. This next piece is called The Horse. This is my second watercolor attempt. I wanted to create a horse that was created with many layers of different colors, mostly cool colors, unlike the classic rule of warm colors for light and cool colors for shadow. I gave the horse and mountains color tints they would not have in real life, such as red mountains and a blue horse, to create a dreamlike quality. This next piece is called Pop God. This acrylic piece is a parody, representing the modern pop rapper's tendency to be self-centered. The subject here is an unidentified Hollywood rapper who is flaunting a peace sign while he takes a selfie with an unseen camera. The rapper himself is neither handsome nor ugly, as he relies on words, not looks, to fuel his fame. The subject is wearing a typical backward-styled baseball cap along with a pair of aviators, both of which are very popular today with teenagers, as well as pop icons. The hat and glasses represent the rapper's ability to set fashion trends with today's teens, as well as the rapper's power to hold influence on millions of children. 
The rapper has a halo of white around his head as a mock to the Virgin Mary or Christian Jesus, who is usually portrayed in artwork with a halo of white around the head as well. The rapper's halo is a symbol of the rapper's own arrogance and narcissism. The rapper is dead center of the piece because the rapper always wants to be center of attention. This piece represents not necessarily a negative role model, but instead warns the viewer of pop icon's extraordinary ability to influence others around him, for better or for worse. Again, this piece is Pop God. This next piece is a self-portrait done entirely in pen. This piece is a self-portrait and was created using the same thickness of lines to create a similar pattern unifying the piece. The dark lines are shadows and are used to create a work of extreme contrast with white whites and dark darks. The subject's face and hair have curvature with lines curving from the center. The lines begin to disappear eventually, fading off into the distance, the shadow along with it, giving the piece a sort of unfinished look. The next piece is called The Face and has extreme contrast using only blacks and grays for the face and white for the shadow. I used a vivid red for the pop, lips for the lips to pop, and the paint on the brush to pop as well. Again, this is the face. Once we're done with dinner, I'd like to... Hello, my name is Gianna Brown, and I'm in Oak Park High School's AP Studio Art. This has been my breadth portfolio. Thank you for sticking with me, and um, thank you for appreciating my art. Uh, I'm a junior at Oak Park here. This has really been a great experience for me, and add that I tried to add as many media as possible and I spent a very long time on this. Thank you very much. I'm Gianna Brown.